How's it going, everybody? It's Yeong here with a Death Stranding news report. The following information comes from a source that I've come in contact with. As is the way these things go, I cannot tell you much more about them other than that. Suffice to say that I know this source is legit because they knew certain things to convince me of their legitimacy. And if I thought there was foul play here, I wouldn't be making this video in the first place. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Now, even though I'm confident enough to present this information, I still think it should be taken with a certain degree of salt. It's all still hearsay after all. All right, so the information I would like to present to you today pertains to Death Stranding's engine. Last we heard of it, we learned that Kojima narrowed it down to two engines, one of which was used to create the Death Stranding trailer shown during E3 2016. Kojima has also stated that in order to speed up the game's development process, he'll be using a third-party game engine. The information that I have for you guys today is the exact engine that Kojima used for the trailer. A little bird has told me that it was none other than the the Sucker Punch game engine. For those who don't know Sucker Punch, they are best known for acclaimed game series like Sly Cooper and Infamous. The game I want to focus on in this video is Infamous Second Son, the last game that Sucker Punch made. This was one of PlayStation 4's earliest exclusive titles, and in my opinion, it's to this day one of the most beautiful looking games of this generation. And based on information that the source gave me, as well as my own observations, it is my belief that Death Stranding's trailer was running on an updated version of Sucker Punch's engine. One of the most noteworthy features about Infamous Second Son was its use of performance capture. If you check out this behind the scenes footage of the game, you can see Troy Baker doing his performance of Delson Rowe while wearing a performance capture suit not too dissimilar from the one that Norman Reedus is wearing in this behind the scenes picture that Kojima posted on his Twitter and on the Kojima Productions official website. Now, what separates Infamous Second Son from something like, say, Last of Us, which also used motion capture, is that whereas the latter only captured the actor's body motion, with faces being manually animated in post-production, the former captured both the actor's body motion and face at the same time, making for a more realistic looking performance. I believe Infamous Second Son was one of the first games to do both at the same time in this fashion. Death Stranding also employs a similar technique. In this picture, we can see Norman Reedus not only wearing the suit, but also wearing these dots all over his face, much like Troy Baker did for Second Son, and much like many of Sony's recent AAA titles. And again, prior to Infamous Second Son, games mostly did facial and body capture separately, which is why in Last of Us you don't see those green dots on Troy Baker's face when he was playing Joel. Now, Infamous Second Son was over two years ago, so whatever technology Kojima used for Death Stranding was most likely an updated version, so graphics and animations are bound to look even better. Speaking of which, something that stuck out to me was how similar Death Stranding's graphics and animation look when compared side by side to Infamous Second Son. You know how each game engine has its own unique visual signature that you can kind of spot if you take a closer look? Like if you've seen enough Unreal Engine 4 games, you can kind of tell when a game is running on Unreal Engine 4. And the same thing goes with something like the Fox Engine. When Kojima unveiled the Phantom Pain back in VGA 2012 as a ruse, one of the many reasons people saw past the ruse is because they almost immediately recognized that the graphics looked very similar from previous footage they had shown of Ground Zeroes, which also ran on the Fox Engine. I get a very similar vibe with Death Stranding when I put the trailer side by side with footage of Infamous Second Son. Just something about the way the faces move, the texture and lighting of the character models, the way the wet sand looks, there just seems to be some kind of visual resemblance. Now, me talking about these similarities is just my own observations. All I can tell you objectively is that a reliable source told me that Death Stranding's trailer was made using the Sucker Punch game engine. But something to keep in mind is that we are only talking about what was used to make the trailer, not the final game engine Kojima will end up using. We still don't know if Kojima decided to stick with the same game engine he used for the trailer or if he decided to go with the other one that he was considering. So this information is hardly absolute confirmation of Death Stranding's final game engine. But there's still a chance Kojima will stick to his guns, which means there's still also a chance Sucker Punch's game engine is indeed what we'll see in the final game. It's not certain, but there is a chance. 
One last bit of evidence I would like to provide to further corroborate this information is that when Kojima went on that worldwide technology tour with PS4 architect Mark Cerny a few months ago, one of the destinations that he visited was none other than Sucker Punch's development studio, where he spent an entire day meeting the staff, navigating the studio, and possibly getting a behind-the-scenes look at their latest game engine. Also interesting to note is that this happened the day after he had visited Sony VASG, or Sony Visual Arts Service Group, which is where many of Sony's first party games, including Infamous Second Son, are animated, and where a lot of their games' performance capture happens. And by the way, Sony VASG also happens to be where Kojima and Norman Reedus did the performance capture for Death Stranding's trailer. So combine what I trust to be reliable information from my source that Kojima used Sucker Punch's engine for Death Stranding trailer with visual similarities that they share with Infamous Second Son's game engine, along with the fact that Kojima visited both Sony VASG and Sucker Punch in close succession during his technology tour, not to mention the fact that Norman Reedus's performance capture happened in Sony VASG, and it is my belief that there is a good chance that Death Stranding's trailer did indeed use a variation or updated version of Sucker Punch's game engine. Now, whether this ends up being the final game engine for Death Stranding will depend on whether Kojima picks this engine over the other one that he's also considering. With all said and done, as I said, take all of this information with a certain degree of salt, because this is all still hearsay. But I can tell you that my source has proven their legitimacy to me, and on a personal level, I feel as though the information I've been given makes a decent amount of sense. Regardless, I figured this was information you guys would be interested in, so I hope this video was of some value to you. What are your thoughts on the matter? Do you see resemblances between Infamous Second Son's graphics and the ones from Death Stranding's trailer? How would you feel if Kojima decided to settle on Sucker Punch's game engine? Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on Death Stranding news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out!